Hi there, it's Pamaro Naturals and I am back with another video. In this video, I would like to discuss your ages and your name. Have you ever wondered why you never seem to get a full hairline? You have had, you know, healthy ages growing up, but as you get older, you find that your hairline starts to recede and you can't really pinpoint the reason why. Well, in this video, I will be sharing um, some of the things that could be causing your hair your hairline to recede and also some of the things that you can do to prevent that. Before I get on with the things that you can do to improve your hairline, I just want to make it clear that this video is based on the fact that you don't have any medical conditions. Um, if you have things like alopecia or some other skin condition or hair condition, it might be a different story. You probably need to seek medical help for that. Um, so this is just based on the fact that you don't have those problems and you're just looking for some tips and tricks to help you um, Maintain your edges to be healthier and fuller. Okay, so number one is satin scarf I know Story of my life wear a satin scarf to bed the ends of your hair these ones The ends of your hair and your edges are the most fragile part of your hair. I kid you not, rubbing onto a rough surface, um, rubbing onto chairs in the car, sleeping on a cotton pillowcase contribute to you having breakage and therefore losing your ages. So you might want to invest in a satin scarf. I'll show you what mine looks like. This is one of my satin scarves. Um, you can see it's very silky. And the hair loves this because your hair just slides onto it and doesn't rub on it, you know, like the cotton material will do. So you probably want to invest into one of these. Even the fake ones do just fine because the idea is that the material is slippery, not really the quality, but the material itself is slippery. And that's what we want for our natural hair. That's number one. Number two is that you want to take care when you are braiding your hair. Braids, cornrows, micro braids, weaves and all of those things. It's great to be able to change up your style every once in a while and that's the beauty of our natural hair or rather the black culture. The problem with that is that we sometimes create a lot of stress on our edges when we do that and particularly with the, um, the micro braids. They cause a lot, of, um, a lot of tension on the hair, especially the hairline and by the time you take them off a month I don't know, three months later, your hair has really been put through too much stress that it actually breaks off. So if you do it too often, you will find that you don't have an, a hairline because your hairline is constantly um, breaking because of that stress. Same applies to the cornrows. If they're too tight or even the, um, the really big chunky braids, if they're too heavy and they're kind of pulling the hair down, especially the hairline, your hair and your edges will be breaking and you will not be able to see your, um, your full edges. So be careful with those. If you're going to do braids, make sure they're done gently. Uh, make sure that you take care of your hair while it's in the braids and also don't make it too small or too big. Um, just just choose a reasonable uh, reasonable size for your braids so that it's actually working for you and not against you. While I'm still on the topic of braids and protective styles, I also would like to mention wigs. Now, wigs can be very convenient when your hair is in a mess and you just want to quickly find something, you know, to make you look presentable and, you know, run out. A lot of the wigs these days are made of, uh, made of rough material on the inside. It's a rough kind of material that sits just at your edges and that is a no-no for healthy, full edges. If you want your edges to grow, either stay away from those or thoroughly moisturize before and prior and don't keep them in for too long. Do not slip in your wigs and make sure you're taking care of your hair even when the wig is on. Otherwise, your edges will continue to recede pretty much. The next point I want to make is that you want to be careful with the styles that you do. So tight ponytails, pulling your hair into a slick ponytail for that nice chic look is great for the moment, 
but in the long run you will see that your hair your hairline will start to recede because you're you're pulling your hair too hard causing too much stress breaking your edges so you won't see your edges um, growing if you do that too often and even if you don't do it as often it's just not a good practice to be pulling on your edges next point gentle on the brushes and the gels so when you style your hair you want the finished look that kind of makes it nice and sleek right that's great but when you're doing that be mindful of your edges if you're brushing on your edges too roughly too often if you are placing gels to slick your hair, it's good for the moment, but in the, in the long run, your hair is going to dry out, your hair is going to break off, and you won't see your edges. So stay away from the brushes, or at least use a gentle brush and a gentle gel that doesn't dry your hair out. Okay, the next thing is that um, you want to be careful with the cups, the, you know, the plastic cups that you wear, into, uh, you wear to shower? The shower cups, that's the word shower caps, um, summer hats, you know, just general hats and hoodies. You want to be careful with those because they can actually be damaging to your edges. They're too rough for the edges, so you want to be careful to either wear them sparingly or, you know, avoid them altogether. Avoid them even just for a couple of months until you see that your hairline has started to grow back in. Another contributing factor to thinning edges is dryness. If your hair is dry, it's going to break off. If your hair breaks off, it means that you will not be able to see your hairline growing in. So you want to practice moisturizing techniques. It doesn't matter whether you are natural or relaxed. Hair needs moisture. Our natural, our African hair needs moisture. So in order to maintain healthy edges, you want to get into the practice of moisturizing your hair and sealing that moisture in to give your hair a bit more strength and support. So moisture is a big one. Scalp massages are really, really good in promoting blood flow to the scalp, obviously, and the edges ultimately. And you want that because, you know, the increase of blood flow to your scalp means that your hair will grow a little bit quicker. Lastly, you want to really be careful with what products you use on your hair. Some products are really heavy um, and they weigh down the hair. And a good example of a product that you probably don't want to be using too often are your sulfate shampoos. Sulfate shampoos um, are meant to strip the hair of oils and even the natural oils. And that is great if you want to cleanse your hair, but if you don't really need that thorough a cleanse, then you want to stay away from them and do more co-washing rather than sulfate shampooing. Um, when you strip your hair of all its moisture with a sulfate shampoo that is going to cause dryness and like I said before dryness is going to lead to breakage so I hope you can see where I'm going with this now the main reason your edges are not growing is because they are breaking off they are breaking off too often um, and therefore you can't actually see the growth coming in so whatever you do the practices that you put in place should be really aimed at reducing breakage, in fact, preventing breakage altogether if we're going to see healthy, full edges um, that thrive. Now, I know this might seem like very simple, um, ineffective methods to do to, uh, to promote the, the growth of your edges, but I can guarantee you, if you challenge yourself, say, for two months, and try to implement these practices, these habits, you will see a change in your edges. And if you do that intermittently, you might be able to still enjoy some of the protective styles, weaves, braids, wigs, and all of that, and still maintain edges. Don't just do it re religiously. You know, the wigs, wig tomorrow, wig today, wig next week, you know, micro braids the next. Allow your hair to just be free and breathe so that you can actually see your edges growing. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Please share the video and subscribe and let me know if there's anything you would like to add, subtract. Until next time, it's Pamela Naturals. See ya.